Welcome to Switch Corner, my name is Alex and today we're taking a look at my favourite deals across the Switch eShops covering the US, Canada, UK, EU and Australia. Now as always this one it's any price goes so check out Thursday's edition if you want those steals coming in under $10 or your local currency. With that though like hit subscribe and join us here on Switch Corner for reviews and deals near daily and let's get started. As always then I do have two winners to announce for two $10 eShop gift cards later in the video and two more to give away. All you need to do to enter, drop a comment down below in the winners that will be announced in next week's video. Senjun then to kick us off under this, it's an interesting one, think Hades but easier and leaning more into the anime style. It's a roguelike though that gets a fair few things right, it definitely stumbles in some areas. What I did like though, multiple characters, some unique locations and also some solid boss moments. I also like the fact that there's multiple playable characters with different styles. Problems, the story, it's underdeveloped, it's an intro and an outro and that's really about it outside of maybe establishing you need to push back evil from this world. And then the animations, they look fantastic but there's a few frame rate stumbles and it can get so flashy at points that you can like honestly get a little bit lost. It also can be beaten quite quickly. Take a look at my review though in the pinned comment down below, I called it above average and maybe this 30% off now is enough to make it worthy of an add to the library. I personally definitely found the fun in it. Curse of the Dead Gods then would be a good option if you want something tougher. Honestly as well, it's the stronger game, a similar roguelike setup here but the gameplay it's divided as you make your way up what is kind of like a pyramid so it's, it's like a collection of increasingly challenging runs. Limited story again as well but it's definitely got more character in its visual design, I love the almost think cell shaded style. The combat though is great fun and it's super responsive, the only real issue I had at times it can be a little bit too dark in its visual design making it feel a, you know, a tiny bit repetitive but then also the weapons at each run randomly generated to open things and I actually started to die purposely when I didn't like what I was given, it feels a little bit too luck based over skill. The best bit then though, easily the title curses. You see these curses, you move through rooms, gradually getting cursed more and more. Then though, they impact you for the most part, for the worst, think things like gradually losing health. It's unique, it can make it even more intense and it's matching the low price, 30% off. My full review again in the pinned comment down below. Haven then is back matching the low price, 40% off UK, EU and Australia, you have seen it lower before but I'm a big fan of this developer, the Game Bakers, they made Fury before this one, an ultra challenging boss rush experience. This one's completely the opposite, completely relaxed, two lovers on the run from what is an oppressive government. Basically explore this land, occasionally face some turn based combat, not a huge amount but this one it truly is kind of all about the story. I loved our leads though, it has two player support, the gliding is great fun and the visual design it is stunning. On Switch it for sure has some moments of low detail with its textures and also the occasional frame rate wobble but nothing that took away from the rides. A couple of quick reminders then and updates, I did a deals video for Cubic celebrating their 18th anniversary, I've linked that video down below, it's basically a whole lot of new low prices. Then remember to check out PlayStation Corner and Xbox Corner if you haven't already, we are pushing for 10k subscribers over on PlayStation Corner and 4k for Xbox Corner. On the latter Xbox Corner, we're like 50 subs away at this point so all of the support helps. Other side then just recently got a physical release but it's a tactical strategy experience with a horror theme. The standout here is the black and white visual style outside of maybe the occasional dash of red but it works surprisingly well on the Nintendo Switch given that kind of calls for a solid resolution throughout to a fight pixelation and for me it definitely delivered. The gameplay is tough as well and there's a whole lot going on here, I think though turn based combat working in conjunction with a cooldown period and timeline that you need to manage. You are the daughters though tasked with facing and taking out evil and I was really impressed not only with the gameplay but that story as well. It also features then some roguelike elements but with this one check out my video below it needs a little bit more of a deep dive to get through all of the mechanics. It's a new low price then for those in the UK, EU and Australia and then matching the low in the US and Canada with 33% off. 
What lies in the multiverse then is a minor discount, 10% off, that is a launch discount. I reviewed it this week though on the channel. I was really impressed, so I wanted to give it some extra exposure. Think a puzzle platformer with an adult theme around traveling through different dimensions, but it's the mechanics. Each universe brings a new concept. Think like reversing gravity or worlds that can kill you. Check out my full review though, this one definitely might surprise you. Dusk Diver then I'll keep it quick, spoke to it recently, but an action adventure with a dash of RPG. You team up with Godzo to fight back evil from these portals popping up over this world. The city is really stunning at points popping with colour and the combat is fun too, but the actual dungeons, I guess you could call them that, they let the game down, it's just kind of grey, dull and it makes it feel somewhat repetitive. I still definitely enjoyed it though. I wanted to give it a shout out though because it's a new low price here with 67% off but also the sequel just released on the Japanese Switch eShop with English, so I'll be reviewing it later in the week. I feel like the first one got a bit of a following behind it, so it's definitely gonna be worth a look. Rune Factory 4 special then, similar reason, it's getting a sequel towards the end of the month, and I feel that's been long awaited, so why not check this one out first? A very good game as well that should appeal to a number of different audiences. You know, it's got things like the exploration, the farming, daily offence, meeting the locals, like many in the genre, but then it packs in some dungeon crawling as well, making it feel a little bit more exciting for me as someone that rarely gravitates towards that kind of slice of life genre. It's matching the low price then, 35% off, and this one it could definitely keep you busy for a good while given its formula. SnowRunner then is a gem though, an acquired taste, I'd call it a strategy experience personally. The idea, complete increasingly challenging tasks across this open world in all sorts of different vehicles, but it is so addictive. And there's so few games where you can find the reward in pulling yourself out of let's say snow or mud at one mile an hour. I didn't think I would like the formula with the original game, I ended up absolutely loving it. It's matching the low then, 30% off, and there's a ton of content and paid DLC as well available to expand that journey. My pickups of the week then, I'm grabbing two first, Turrican Flashback. As always, I can't recommend these ones, but maybe you'll want to join me for the raid. This one though, I've wanted to play since release, but the price point for me it was just way too high. Now though, 60% off a new low price, I am definitely game. It's a run and gun experience, packs four entries, some bonuses, and this series it influenced the mighty Velocity 2X. It's a classic though basically worthy of its own collection. Then I'm grabbing Clockwork Aquario, and this one I just missed it at launch. 25% off though, a new low. Seen some kind of mixed opinions here, the common description seems to be nice little kind of time capsule, but it's definitely feeling a little dated as well. It was actually unfinished until this release, and it's a platformer with some action elements as well. I love the big chunky sprites the game's rocking though, and I'm looking forward to jumping in. Our first winner of the week then, Barry, who was picking up a few games from the devs donating money. Had a ton of comments around it as well, so I appreciate everyone's feedback on including it with the video. Congrats so Barry, drop me an email to claim your code. And everyone else, a second winner coming up here shortly in the video. Into the final three games then, starting with another classic Darius Burst, another Chronicle EX+. It's an update of the 2010 arcade title and a remix of Darius Burst generally. A side-scrolling shmup, it packs a story around biomechanical hordes, but that's not what you're coming here for. Come here for the gameplay, it is great fun. Think though the usual high score chasing with new graphics, a new ship and a fent mode which actually packs new scenarios. This one for me it was priced way too high at launch originally and I think with that reason it may not have appealed to those that don't really know the name. Hopefully though now this is enough of a drop to persuade maybe a few new like, people in. It's a new low price, 50% off, just be warned it's definitely not an easy game. Our penultimate game of the video then, the Falconeer Warrior Edition. This is a gem, you are a title Falconeer and you go to war and explore on what is a massive warbird which is already badass in itself. The world though oceanic and you'll be facing a number of campaigns protecting and kind of like advancing this world as well around you. It's a whole lot of quests and missions but it just runs so well and looks absolutely stunning. The visuals, that style, that's almost, you know, cell shaded. It's actually because there's no texture work at all, making it really stand out. On top of the base game, then, it packs in the new DLC, so think new quests, a player class, boss encounters, even a dragon. A new low price, 35% off. You'll also find my full video in the pinned comment down below. 
Our second winner then, FS, who decided to dive into Jump King. And like I said in the last video, good luck with that one. Incredibly difficult, but no doubt something you can talk about if you do overcome it. Congrats so FS, drop me an email to claim your code and everyone else, drop a comment down below for your chance to win in next week's video. Our final game of the video then, Doom Eternal, gets a new low price, 67% off and this game is a must buy. A fantastic first person shooter that's been treated here to a great port. Now it's not 60 frames per second, rather 30, definitely drops at points as well slightly, but it's mostly fine and seeing this run on the Switch that is impressive in itself. It's the usual Doom formula, blast away demons, but it's one of the most fiscal you can find out there. In this one though, Hell's Army, they've now invaded Earth, go push them back, and the soundtrack, though it had some controversy surrounding it, still incredibly heavy stuff. My full review in the pinned comment down below. Another quick mention as well actually here in the under $10 video, I mentioned Doom 3 and Doom 2016, they both got new low prices. It's also worth knowing the Slayers collection gets a new low as well, and that one packs Doom 1, 2, 3, and 2016 with a new low price, 65% off. And that is another week down, will you be adding anything to the library or holding onto that cash? A shout out then to the patrons of the channel who are going above and beyond to support Switch Corner, it helps more than you know, so thank you all so much. Then hit subscribe if you love the Switch, as much as we all do here, join our growing family, and I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.